Okay, homeowners and roofers, this video is for you. Uh, when I give an estimate to a homeowner, we're building a porch right now, and if the estimate says low slope metal application, you might wonder what planet I'm com coming from and what language I'm speaking. So this is the perfect opportunity to explain what low slope metal application is, kind of a thing I made up with screw down. Different metal systems are different, but this screw down system is what we're doing today. Um, this porch, we got like a less than a 112 pitch. It's about a foot over 16 foot of drop. If you're building a porch, you don't want to drop it two or three on 12 because then it'd be like five foot tall at the base. So we're limited by that. We got to make do with what we have. First of all, okay. Um, number one, if you got any sidewall trim, you always want to put sealant between the metal and the trim if not water's going to get behind here and this will be a hole between the two layers of metal put some stuff there and you always got to make sure that you've got a bend or a rib like that behind any uh trim that way if water does get back up behind there you got something folded behind it that's going to stop it from getting uh any further Okay, these these spots right here have the transition. They're always tricky. So what we're doing here is bending the back of the metal up like that. And I've got a special tool, but in a pinch, you can use this, which is what I did there. Just stuck it uh, at the third knock. It's about three quarter of an inch. Stick it in there and pull it up. That's gonna stop any water going up under there. It's gonna hit a dam. Now, just because this is such a low pitch, I'm also gonna put expandable one inch by one inch foam sealant. So this sticks down underneath here, and then I'm gonna put the stitch screws right on that X seal, and that's gonna be an extra layer of protection um, just in case. I'm gonna have two layers of protection in the back because I do not want that to leak. Okay, another thing, when the pitch is so low we could get a lot of standing water up here like snow and ice what's going to happen is where the sheets of metal lap like here water's going to be able to get up in between these two layers this is butyl tape pretty simple stuff comes on a roll like that so i put that on there and once this sheet of metal goes on let's uh ah, i've got a screw but I'm gonna set this piece of metal here, then lift it up and pull the tape out after I get it where I want it. Okay. You wanna stitch screw these ribs together. I've got them every foot pre-drilled. So a stitch screw looks like this. It's tiny, it's three quarter of an inch, as opposed to a standard screw like this. The threads are different on the stitch screw, and the screw is a little fatter. It's meant for stitching two pieces of metal together. It's not for wood application. So I'm going to stitch these ribs together every foot like this. Every foot. That's going to hold that butyl together between those two layers of metal and keep it from moving. So that's gonna basically make this lap right here waterproof in case any water is gonna be getting up in between these two. So we got a, a row of butyl between there. Most importantly, last but not least, down here at the edge. That's what metal looks like what, normal. But on a 112, what happens is water comes here and then it just wraps back around and goes behind and starts rotting out your drip edge and leaking there. So cut little notches, about three quarter inch, use your bender tool and bend that down like that. And then I also slap a piece of drip edge on the face of that. Um, it's a splash guard. Water's gonna hit and drop right down into the gutter and it just kind of makes it look cleaner instead of seeing these uh, cuts like that. Gives it a nice clean look. This is super critical. Anytime you got low slope metal, you wanna do these bends like that so even though this is a less than a 112 pitch this is a solid application right here 
and I'm comfortable giving a 10 year warranty on this stuff. Um, you can always come up here and replace screws if you need to. Buell tape's probably gonna start failing after like 20 years, but it is a porch. I would never recommend this on your house, but a porch, if it starts leaking in 20 years, not a big deal. So um, a lot easier to do it this way than tying the porch up into the roof to give it a proper three or four on 12 pitch. Uh, so a lot, lot less framing and it looks really nice down there. We're gonna have the pine exposed. Why don't we go check it out, actually. Uh, don't look while I get down, because this is not, I'm not gonna say anything. All right, let's check this out. Exposed pine, since I did span uh, 16 feet, I went one foot on center with the two by sixes. I didn't want it to sag. So beam's gonna be exposed. Just put some filler blocks in between there. And then we are wrapping the outside to finish it out with soft fascia. Like that. So that is it, low slope metal application.